guys what is up i am double driven uh today we're going to go over uh, the recent syndicate card that was revealed and uh, the two monster cards that were revealed yesterday um first up the uh, the newest card uh, came out at like one o'clock in the morning my time so <laughs> um the scapegoat i thought this was a nilf guard card when they leaked it i believe this was on one of the the pride streams i'm not sure maybe it was one of the opens where they leaked the art but i didn't expect it to be syndicate um but it's a scapegoat human seven strength four provisions deploy if there's no bounty on the battlefield damage self by three whenever an enemy unit with bounty is damaged heal self by one do you really want to waste your provisions on a portal uh, scapegoat combo probably not um, dropping this on the board is a four it just dies without the damage I guess you could drop it later on and do some damage but it's only one point so I guess though drill it would play for four points a turn for three pings or freak show for you know, three points a turn for every ping. I don't. I think there's. I, I think what the four provision slot. You either want your poison completions or you want spenders, and this isn't one of those. So I don't think this one's gonna make the cut. Uh, we'll see, but I think it's way too slow, and it it doesn't incentivize spending. It doesn't. It's, it's just points. I mean, there's the, that uh, that one ghoul card is seven that you could pay tribute one. It's like, and no one plays that really unless you're going for that weird Igor combo that really isn't worth it. Um, it looks like, though, it's going to be Bounty. I, I like Bounty. I love, I love Witchfinder. I love Professor. Um... I have no problem putting a couple executioners in the deck. Uh, Kurt's a great card. Uh, Hysteria needs some some love. If it was four, if it was put bounty on it and damage it by four, I'd play it. It'd be great. It'd be a huge card. It'd be play for eight points. Right now, it's just kind of awkward. But if they uh, do some changes to it or drop it to a four. That would be huge. Vigilantes are still too slow. But, yeah. It, we'll, we'll see what the other cards do. Uh, there'll be uh, two cards in a neutral tomorrow. There's still one more today. It's usually a legendary, but they might save the legendary for uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's check out these monster cards, though. Uh, this first one, the art is... Both these are crazy, but this one's really dark, man. Uh, it's uh, Mauna, I believe I said that right. Two strength, ten provision, zeal, order. Banish a bronze unit from your graveyard and boost self by its power. Then summon a copy of it from your deck to this row. Sabbath, play a copy instead. Uh, a couple people were mentioning Griffins with this combo which is pretty huge um this card in general both both the monster uh, epic and legendary seem really really good um people were saying too you can go with uh karen theory with this it's uh it seems really dangerous. I think there's a lot of combos with this card. I think it's going to have a lot of meme value too, but it in general it's just going to be it's going to be huge. I mean, absolutely huge and this art is crazy. It looks like something off of like Pan's Labyrinth or something. I love it. More of this, please. This I love this like dark like I I can only imagine what this premium is going to be looking like great card i love it um 
And then the last one, toe beans, um, Mr. Self Eater. <laughs> oh man, this card. Um, so he's a six for six, Self Eater. He's a relic. Order. Have this unit's power, base power, then spawn a copy with the same base power on this row. Whenever you play a relic, increase this unit's base power by one. So, it you play it for six, you play another relic, it jumps up to a seven, it turns into a three, so it keeps turning into a four, and this one keeps getting bigger as long as it's alive. It seems pretty good. Six is always awkward, though. Like... Maybe it's a one of. I don't think you slap two of these in here because six just gets really weird. But I think this card's pretty good. Swears would like it. I don't think you'd be able to uh, get more relics unless you're playing like. Uh, what's it called? Does it keep going? Like every time you flip it, it, it gets the order again, is from what I can read on it. It makes a copy with the same base power, so it keeps flipping. So it goes from three, you make another one, it's a four, then it's a two. And then each one of these grows by one when you play a relic. It seems pretty good. It seems like a nice round one play if it doesn't die. Like, And I guess, too, you could like... Yeah, it's, it seems like a nice round one play. I mean, if, especially if you're on red coin, like, I think they have to deal with this. It's almost like the Kiki more worker, but way better. Because it has a bigger body off the bat to start getting the value. This art's killing me, though. <laughs> Sorry, I can only imagine what this premium looks like. But, um... Hey, that's the video. I'll have uh, another one out. I'll try to tomorrow for um, the final cards. Um, I always enjoy doing these uh, reveal videos. They're they're really fun. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.